we see Top Mom is set to leave town. That's right, put as much distance between herself and that spot where Kelly's remains were found just 15 houses down from where Top Mom put her head on the pillow every night knowing her daughter, her daughter was literally rotting 15 houses down. Oh yes, she's leaving town. Out to Michael Christian, senior field producer, in session. What do we know, Michael? Is she set to leave the jail like Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan in the middle of the night in a big black SUV with tinted windows so nobody knows what's happened? You know what? Fine. Go. Yeah, you know, there have been so many different scenarios out there, Nancy. Some people think that she's left already, that she's been released, and we just don't what? know. There are, there whoa, are other whoa, people who wait, think she's whoa, been whoa, moved. Whoa, whoa. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Yep, back it yep. up. Yep. Wouldn't it be incumbent on the Orange County Jail to release that information if it's true? It depends on what they've done with her. She could, for example, have been moved to another county jail, Osceola County, Lake County, somewhere near where necessarily people wouldn't be watching for her to leave. Hmm. That's a possibility. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's analyze that theory. Okay. Now, they are an arm of the state, the Orange County Jail, the OC Jail, they have, are, are subject to Freedom of Information Act. They can't lie about a request. So isn't it true, Michael Christian, if she were being housed somewhere else, they would say something like, she's within the system. Would They can't honestly say she's in the OC jail if she's not. Can they, Michael? I don't think they are saying today that she's in the O.C. County Jail. They're well, just really they not saying much asked? of anything. Have they been um, asked directly? Yeah, people have been asking okay, how this was going to happen, how she's going to leave. Liz, okay. Liz, call the jail right now and ask them if Top Mom is still housed there. Somebody in the control room, pick up the phone, because I would like to know if she's getting special treatment. Okay, go ahead, Christian. Anyway, that's a possibility that she could be somewhere else. We've also heard a possible scenario that whenever the release time comes, and we're probably not going to know ahead of time, that they could, for example, send out six, eight, Michael, ten Michael, black vans. Michael, please we don't know which one she's stop in. Stop referring to it like it's the rapture, that we're not going to really know <laughs> when it's going to happen. Well, it's the, gonna it, happen. sadly, it's that's the fact. It's an extraordinary event. Okay, are, what did you say about six or seven black SUVs? That's, that's another theory. They could send out a bunch of black SUVs or a bunch of different cars at the same time to, to fool they? the media. Who is People wouldn't they? know which one to, to follow. Who's they? That the authorities could do that. You know, Orange County Sheriff's Department has responsibility for her, and they are so nervous, and I think rightly so, that somebody might try to do something to this woman while she's in their, their jurisdiction, in their care. So they are going to do everything they possibly can to make sure that that doesn't happen. Personally, I don't think we're going to find out that she's been released and when that happened until sometime after it's happened. I just don't think they're going to tell us. And what they've told us in the past has kind of uh, reiterated that. To Robin Walensky, WDBO. Robin, come on, somebody should just stake out Fusion or whatever the name of the bar is now. Come on, where do you think she's going to go? Well, Nancy, first of all, Fusion has been closed. Closed, but I, I know. It, it's closed, but here's the but bottom line. But they're all like vampires. You know, you can shoot them with a 38, they get up and they walk again. I don't know how yeah. that happens. It'll be something else next week. Yes, exactly. These clubs keep reopening, at, you know, in the midnight hour. Here's the bottom line, Nancy. I was out this morning and at the swamp scene, and there are people showing up still to, to view the area where Kaylee's little bones were found. And I was sick to my stomach because this area is underwater. Now, unlike uh, Mr. Cronk, who Can took I a leak in that area. Can I see some video, Liz, of the spot where Kaylee's remains were found? That's what Robin's talking about right now. Go ahead, Robin. Repeat. Yeah, unlike Mr. Cronk, who took a leak in the woods, I actually went to the gas station on the corner to take a break. And there, were the, the, there's a palpable sense of anger um, in the community. It, you can really feel it, Nancy. People are angry. They were angry at me. What did I do? Nothing. But they see the news van from my radio station, and you get dirty looks. So I think I agree uh, with what everybody is saying that there is this really palpable sense of anger I have seen it up close and okay. personal and the department is very worried about her safety and someone doing something crazy